Good morning. How are we? Welcome to Coffee and Crafts. It is Wednesday, the day after uh, 4th of July. Hope everyone had a wonderful 4th of July. If you're from Canada, you had a, you had a great Canada Day. Uh, from UK. Sorry. Happy Treason Day. Um, so, welcome. We are going to make a card today. So, I don't know what side you can see this on. So, we're going to play with the... Um, I keep calling this fancy foil, I think foil frenzy. So if I say fancy foil today, I apologize because for some reason that's how it's ingrained in my bread, my brain, but it is foil frenzy paper, which is really quite cool. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. So good morning, everybody. I see everybody's coming on. I see Robin and Pam and Janice and Cindy and Yvonne and Kathy and Lisa and Nikki. Oh my goodness, I feel, I feel like romper room, you know? I see Judy and I see Robin. Um, Oh, sunny North Carolina. It is beautifully sunny. I can see out my back window there. Nice sunny day. Beautiful. I've had good weather here in New England. Yay. So while people are jumping on, let's just run through some of the promos that are going on at the moment with Stampin' Up! and me. Kind of exciting. So right now we have bonus days. So bonus days is for every $50 that you spend you will get a five in July. You will get a five dollar coupon to spend in August. So this is really cool, and you will get. You have to make sure you, that comes straight from Stampin' Up. And you need to make sure your email address is correct because you're going to get an email. It's going to look like this, and you got to save these because behind here, I'm not having you steal my number. Uh, you get a list of numbers for every fifty dollars. So I have three um, so far. So I just save, print them out. I save them, stick them on my board. So come August, I'm all set to go. So that is fun. We did this last year and it was a lot of fun. Just make sure you, your email is correct in the system, either if I'm putting in the order or if you're putting it in directly. Um, next up, we have Christmas in July. So this is anyone who wants to join my team. And you can join my team just as a hobby demonstrator. I've had lots of customers just buy it, um, the starter kit, and they use it to get the 20% discount. Um, for a little while so they can build up their supplies. So this is in addition to for the starter kit is you get $99 with no shipping cost. You get $125 worth of product. Well now in addition to that you're going to get a snail, two D-sized blocks, grid paper, paper snips, bone folder, all your basics, plus this all new stamp set that is only available right now for demonstrators to buy and it'll be available next month but you get to get it for free right now so that is an awesome deal and if you can check out my website for more details and also right now I have a color theory bundle it's got 14 um, how much do you have to order per quarter so if you want to stay a demonstrator um, oops we'll go back to this if you want to stay a demonstrator it is 300 a quarter but when you join your very first quarter that you join does not count so where are we we are july so july july august so it's the very first of the quarter so july august september would not count and so you would have through december to make your 300 so most of my customers who've done this have um managed to say at least nine months um and then they automatically from that point on get 20 percent off all their purchases. So they're buying their big shots and they're buying their dyes that they've wanted, especially coming up with Christmas. Um, and then quite a few of them have kind of gone, hey, I can do this. Um, so, you know, and others have just dropped and they've gone back to being my customer. So it's, it's a good deal. Um, if you can go to my website where it says join, there's more details on, and these aren't official titles, we just call them whether you're a hobby demo or a business demo, just who is working the business, hobby, and some people just sort of fall in the middle. So that's tons of fun. So um, let me know. I'd love to have people join my team. That would be awesome. So back real quick, we got color theory. So anyone who spends $75 in my store this month will get its 14 cards uh, using this color theory um, suite of products and this has been a huge success so far so I just want to throw that out um, so that's what's going on so we have some they found a better video okay um, so we're gonna do some prizes so let me switch down here so today our prizes are so our instant live prize so anyone who leaves a comment right now who is on at the end of this broadcast I have the metal rim pearls so 
This will go to somebody. I don't have anything left over. Everybody claimed theirs within like a few minutes left of last week. And then our um, watch later prize is the Forever With You stamp set. So this is retired. And so this will go out. We will pick this winner next Wednesday. So it's the 12th of July. So we'll, we'll do on July 12th Coffee and Crafts. So those are our our live giveaways or our, our giveaways, our prize patrol. But we have a prize patrol for from last week. Do I even have the product? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh. I believe we're giving away July 5th. Yeah, he wrote July. The Blooming with Hope. So we're going to give away that right now. Yeah, sorry. Let's put those down there so people can see transition. So this is what we're giving away. So if you left a comment on the Facebook Live or my YouTube, and if you said shared, you got a second entry. So we are going to slide down here to my computer. We're going to go, hold on. There we go. We are going to flip over here to random.org. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Oops, I'm on the wrong thing. There we go. I'll make that a little bigger. So, I'll make it a little smaller now. All right, so you can see everybody. So, he, here is everybody who left a comment on Facebook or YouTube. And if they said they shared with a D, they have a second entry. So, this again is for the Blooming with Hope. This is from last week. So I'm going to hit randomize, and I'm going to get a pen, so I'm all set to write this down. And whoever shows up on top will be the winner. So ready? One, two, three, go. And our winner is Karen. And I think Karen is on here, because I think she just asked a question. So I'm going to put Karen. All right, that's enough so I remember. So congratulations, Karen. Let me... So Karen, if you head over to my website and you go up to specials, all right, now I got to do it. Let's go back to the computer browser. Okay. I have to stamp in. Go up to specials, giveaway. There we go. Giveaways. Come on, computer. And there you will um, fill out the form here. And I will get this mailed to you. So there we go. Yay, Karen. Congratulations. I do believe she is on here. So next let's make a card so let me flip you down here all right what was that oh, that's, a, that's a, okay let's see so transition down here so this is what we are making this morning i try to get away from the glare right, put it up here so it uses the foil frenzy card we also use some of the layered oh boy lay, lovely words uh dies sorry for the glare let me see if i can I don't know if I can finagle that here too well. If I aim my lights away. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Oh, there is Karen. Is there a chance if Sammy gets flooded with a request for pop-up trash cans, they will put it in the catalog? It doesn't hurt to try. I don't know. I know if you're a demonstrator, you go. Um, so go try. So I got the paper pumpkin one here over my shoulder. And we got uh, the general stamping up ones. Whoops. There we go. Here. Um, took them a while to get it so we could buy them. But let's make a card. So, 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 so. All right. Do -do -do. So, also, I'm going to put a post up, I'd say like an hour after this broadcast is done. I have a free PDF. It includes a picture, links to, to purchase, links to um, back to the video, all the cut sizes all the products used and a place to make notes. So this is free. It'll be on my blog post. If you are watching Facebook, the details will be above in the comments above. If you're watching on YouTube, the details for where to find that will be below. That's where, um, where they reside. So I'm going to put this aside. So we're going to start. I'm starting with, um, Shimmery white. I don't know if you can tell that shimmery white from here. And I'm going to. Ooh, here we go. We're going to use an aqua painter, and I'm using lemon lime twist and 
Tangerine Tango. Now let's get some scrap paper here. And what I want to do is I'm going to make these balloons and I'm going to do kind of a watercolor wash and then stamp on it. And so that's why I'm using the um, shimmery white. And so I squeeze our stamp pads to get ink on the cover. So I'm going to start with the lemon lime twist and I'm going to put more on one end and then come move down with less ink coming down. So there's more stronger color at one end than the other. And I just want to make this big enough to be the size of this balloon. So when we punch it out, it's all good. All right. And then to clean off, I'm just going to wipe it on my scrap paper. And I'm going to repeat the same thing with my tangerine tango. We used to have tangelo twist, which was almost the same color. And I now still say the wrong, it's the wrong name. Shame on me, but all right, squeeze a little to get a little more water in my pen. So these are the aqua painters. These are great. All your water is kept in the pen here. Um, I did fill them with rubbing alcohol for a while, which was fun, but the rubbing alcohol, if it stayed in the pen, seemed to eat away at my pens. So I uh, kind of stopped doing that. I just work with the water now. Um, but it was a fun, fun little thing. So now let's close these up and clean my aqua painter. The cap back on so it stays, stays good. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute and dry while we, while we move on. Of course, I don't have any instructions. I'm just kind of going, winging it here. Um, so that's those. So let's cut. Alright, so I'm gonna have let's do our die cut. So I have a piece of vellum and then I have whisper white and soft side. And I'm gonna cut these all oops, with my big shot. Let's see if you can see those. And I'm using the magnetic platform. My plates are pretty flat, so they will work well. So the um, vellum is getting cut with the stitched oval, the second largest, and the white I'm going to cut. This is lovely, where's the thingy, here it goes, lovely, lovely words, dies, and these have words inside shapes. So let me show you what we're going to do. So we're going to cut these like this. Run this through. Does paper curl up once it's wet? It does a little bit. Um, if you have trouble, heat the side that you wet and then turn it over and heat the back side. Usually that will help flatten it out. Um, so, all right, so here's my oval, vellum oval. I'm going to set that aside, my thing back, and then I'm going to pull out. So here is, oops, here's what does it put, leaves like the negative with the friends, which is kind of cool, but I'm going to snip out the friend in just a minute, but I want to cut it again in soft sky. So I'm going to do this twice. Right, here we go. Okay. I'm going to set those aside. And while I have, pull this out. while I have the big shot out, I want to emboss I want to emboss, so I'm going to switch out my platform for my standard platform and I'm looking for my supply box, there it is. I am going to use the softly falling embossing folder. Yeah, that's the, the aqua painters, you don't want to squeeze too much. Let's see, so I'm going to take my base card. That in here. I'm going to run this through and get this embossed. So then we're done with the big shot. Of course, I say that, I'll probably realize I have forgotten something. There we go. Sorry if I'm sliding you around. There we go. All right. Let's put that. Let's move our big shot back out of the way. There we go. So, all right. 
So now I have my Whisper White all embossed. And let's come back here. So I'm going to take paper snips, which I have hidden over here, and I'm just going to cut out the friend. Cut out my friends. <laughs> um, here we go. And do the same thing with the Whisper White. There we go. So I'm going to grab my silicone pad. This is great to have down when you're taping. You ever tape with the runner tapes or whatever and you get extra tape on the table or on something? This will come right off this way. Um, so let me find also my pokey tool. I'm going to remove from the center of the D and the E, all the little dots and the F too on this one. Clean it all up. All right, so now what I want to do is, I don't know if you can tell on here, I, I have the friend, I have the soft sky behind the Whisper White. So I'm going to put some fine tip glue and I'm going to put the smallest amount of fine tip glue on. So let's see if this, see if this works for me. Sometimes the fine tip glue, there we go. I don't know if you can tell, I really am putting small, small amount because I don't want it to um, bleed out when I put it on. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to get a spare clear block and I want to offset it just a smidge. Okay, and then I set an extra block on it um, to add the weight. I find they've had to water down the fine tip glue to get to come out of that little fine tip that it needs the pressure to um, really hold. So I just leave it for a few minutes like that and go on to something else for a minute. So let's go back to our, let's slide this aside. I'm gonna go back to our uh, balloons. So I need the balloon punch. So I'm working also with the Happy Birthday Gorgeous set. So I am going to take the dotted balloon and let's see, first we're gonna ink it up. I'm gonna bring over my cleaning stuff. Yeah. Is that silicone oil what people use as their squishy pad when dry embossing? I think so. I haven't done it. I'm pretty sure it would work. I've used fun foam. But, and then someone suggested that I use the silicone pad and I haven't done it yet. Um, but I can't see why it wouldn't work. You just need something that gives you a little extra, extra squish, you know? So I'm just now going to stamp right over my watercolor wash. Okay. And now I'm going to go over here and clean because I forgot to bring the cleaning stuff over. So, oops. Forgot I was changing colors. Okay. And so now let's repeat with the tangerine tango. There we go. All right. I never thought to weigh down. Yeah, the weighing down really, really helps. All right, so now, so I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna go back and forth here. Let's see if there will be scraps in the trash. So I'm gonna do the same thing, and that I wanna glue it to the vellum with the fine tip glue. And so we're gonna add just the smallest amount. And flip this over. I want to add it right here. And again, back to black to my blocks. So now we're going to punch out our balloons. And I'm going to punch them out with the smaller balloon on this side. So watercolor that stamp in the same color. Yes. Yeah, so I want the exact same color was a watercolor wash, and then I stamped over it in the same color. So I'll show you what it looks like when I stamp, punch it out. There we go. 
to find out. So there's our balloon, watercolored. There we go. It's like, where do I get the less glare? There we go. So now we're going to do the same with the tangerine. We're going to cut that out. There we go. Bonus white big one. There we go. All right, no use away. Done and done. All right, so my balloons are done. I think my friend is close to done. So let's hide all this stuff. So do, 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 do. let's stamp. Oh, I get my scrap paper, and we're going to stamp again. Greeting we are using again from Happy Birthday Gorgeous is It's Your Day. So it's going to be Friend, It's Your Day. Tip for the day, Sam Pinner. So if you run into your dice, see a big shot or whatever machine, you have a second one sheet, stand, take four sheets. Yeah, okay, I gotta read that later. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. So watch. Sorry for my head. And so this is on a half inch strip of Whisper White. And that was, I was stamping in dapper denim. Oh, making a mess. Okay, so now I also have, so this is this fun foil, fun foil, foil frenzy. Um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna name it a bazillion different names. So it has a bunch of different patterns and it all has this real cool reflection. They're one-sided sheets, so it's the craft paper that we just sort of retired, hair in my eyeball, um, that we just sort of retired. And then it's got this foil inlay, and it's in, I believe, Berry Burst, Garden Green. All right, so there we go. Berry Burst, Lemon Line Twist, Soft Sky, and Tangerine Tango. And each color comes in the polka dots, this kind of zigzag, the stripe, I think that's it. I think that's it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. Fun, fun. And it's thick. So it'll work great to make like a box or a bag or whatever. So I have taken the soft sky, kind of a zigzag, and I'm using small strips of the lemon lime dot and the tangerine stripe. So I want to take, and I got an extra stripe. I did. It disappeared. Oh. All right, we'll grab this one. Lemon lime twist. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to use, you could use scissors, but I'm going to use the triple banner punch. And I want to put a little notch in the, all the ends of them. So I just kind of hold them and eyeball them. Not real uh, perfect because, you know, it's a homemade card. So this one I want to stick in a little closer to, yeah, must have, yes, this paper is really nice. It's, uh, it's just got that little kick. There we go. Um, I have paper flying, all, bits flying all over the place. All right, so really just eyeballing the back. Do -do. So did everybody have an, a good 4th of July? Anybody do anything wild and crazy? We just, I stayed home and I crafted. Um, and then soaked in the pool. I mean, that's the best for me. Like, no crowds, watch the fireworks on the TV. All good. So let's get rid of my trash. All right. So when we put this together, there we go. So I want my snail and I'm going to start putting, I guess I did this. So I'm just adding a strip of snail and I'm just going to kind of crisscross them in the back. Can you see that? Oh. Just to add a bit of background interest. And all right, so let's add I'm going to add my greeting. Move my paper there. And I add the It's Your Day to the bottom. Oh, looks like I did that a little offside. 
perfect place for a little embellishment. All right, and then how did I attach? Okay, so let's assemble the card. So first I want to score. Where's my scoreboard? Snail out of the way. Scoreboard. So I had eight and a half. This time I did make sure I cut the right size paper. Four and a quarter. If you saw the last one, you know I grabbed the sheet that looked right. It wasn't. <laughs> so I had to adjust everything as I went along. Cut this. All right, so now I'm going to attach my embossed sheet to Dapper Denim. with snail. I'm also adding, this is pool party shimmery ribbon. I don't know if you can see the little shimmer to it. It's really, really cool. So let's cut this first and then set this aside. I'm going to add with snail. Here is the soft suede. Soft Soft Sky Fancy Foil or Foil Frenzy. Foil Frenzy. I told you I'm going to name it 20 things. And then I'm going to use the ribbon at its juncture. Let's see. Just did what I said I wasn't going to do. Add a little snail here and here. You can use Fast Fuse or a snail for this. All right, so I want to attach my panel to my card base with regular size dimensionals. One, two, oh, I'm putting it on the wrong side. Oh, see, I can't read comments and craft. Sometimes I totally then start, don't start paying attention. Uh, oops. All right, so let's add this base and then I'll show you how I'm going to put the balloons on. So I didn't like the idea of the balloons just kind of being there without string. It just looked weird to me. So let's attach this. So we're going to take the balloons. See if I can do this. So this is pool party um, solid thick solid baker's twine. It's not thick. I put it on a spool. It doesn't come on this. It comes on a round spool, but I want them all to look the same as they're in my, my rack of uh, ribbons. So I used another, a spent roll. So here I am, I'm just tying the baker's twine to the little notch at the bottom of the balloon. Let's see if I can put two knots so it stays. Not tying live on Facebook. Ah! Here we go. So, and then I'm going to snip that end off and we'll cut it like four or five inches. And then I'm going to repeat on this one. I buy snail in bulk. I do not buy snail in bulk. I buy it, well, I buy it in bulk from Stampin' Up. Uh, so I get my 20% off plus um, any of the discounts. I always add it to to uh, um, when I get stamp and rewards, so I get free snail. All right. So tie the second one on. There we go. And oh my goodness, there we go. All right. So I'm going to trim this, trim this. All right. So I want to attach my two balloons together. So one a little higher than the other and put a little bit of snail just like that. And then I'm add more dimensional. So I'm going to stick a dimensional behind each balloon. There we go. And I'm going to stick these way up here. I kind of want them going off the side of the edge. And I'm going to take some glue dots. I want to just have my strings just kind of end down here. They will be covered by our greeting. 
Let me just take some glue dots and attach the baker's twine down here at the bottom, which will be hidden when we're done. There we go. And trim. There we go. So that's going to be hidden. So now let's add these and we'll add with, I can't remember how we did it, with snail. Again, this PDF will be available after the broadcast. And there we go. And then I want to add these with dimensionals. So I'm going to use our new mini dimensionals. And for vellum, because you can see stuff through, I'm making sure I put it behind uh, some of the solid pieces. So for the banner there, it just went straight across. Even the minis though, to get it behind the word friend, I'm going to have to cut some in half. And I use my pokey tool to pull them off and place them. So I'm putting half mini dimensionals behind the thicker parts of the word friend, like the N and the D. So you can't see them from this side. And we're going to remove all the little backings. Do -do -do. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. Hello, ladies. How are we? Okay. So now I'm just going to attach this. Whoops. I got a, it's like a hanging chad. Hanging piece of the, the mini glue dots. So there we go. So now I didn't center that real well. So let's go find a something to put on. So I'm going to grab my, these are my enamel shaped book. I made this last year. You can find this on my blog so that I can house all my shapes. Let's see what color I want to do. Let's see if I can find a tangerine tango. Cajun. Do I not have tangerine tango? Oh, here we go. Tangerine. All right. It's behind Pacific Point. So let's move this. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a star. There we go. All right. So that will not be on the PDF because that is an add-on feature. So here are if I move them out of the. Let's try this. Clean this up. Go. So here are our two cards. Two finished. Those are kind of more complicated than I had intended, but sometimes you get designing. That's just, I can't stop myself sometimes from making the card. It needs this, it needs this, but cool. I hope you enjoy that. Again, in about an hour, PDF and all the replay of this video and everything will be up, all the products that are available on my online store to buy that I used. So now, where'd it go? Oh, I lost it. We are going to pick an instant winner. This is the go. So we're going to pick an instant winner, a live winner for our metal rimmed um, pearls. So let me go over here. I have to refresh post. Got to find it. Did it log me out? Where are we? Here we go. All right. So let me transition you over here and we're going to pick a winner. Come on, computer's kind of slow this morning. What if my kids are on? So, comments and enter it only once. All right, so whoever shows up wins. And our winner is, can you see it? Janice Mitchell Spaulding. Yay! So, congratulations to Janice. Janice. Again, go to my website, specials, giveaways, and there will be a form to fill up, and I will get these in the mail to you. So thank you, everyone, for joining me. I will be back on Friday. And there's my neighbor's dog. Um, I will be back on Friday to, we'll do another card. I will probably make it a little easier for Friday. And we will have another giveaway. We're giving away, uh, I don't remember. Now I'm getting a pile going. Um, so I hope everybody enjoys Thank you so much, 
And oh, I love all the hearts. Thank you. And I will see you all soon as I try to find the right thing to transition to. Bye.